Kumusta kayo mga kids? Parang kailan lang? Week 8 na tayo. Tayo ngayon ay lesson 1 of 3 na may pamagat ratio using either the colon or fraction. Samahan niyo akong muli sa ating video. Halika na tayo ng matuto. Ratio deals with comparison of two items. The trick with ratios is to always multiply or divide the numbers by the same value. After going through this lesson, you are expected to express ratio using either the colon or fraction. Look at the illustrations below. What can you say about the number of books and the number of pupils? In this case, we can say that there are 4 books for every 8 pupils. We can also express this, this sentence using colon. We can write this as 4 is to 8 or 1 is to 2. 1 is to 2 means for every 1 book, there are two pupils. It can also be expressed in fraction as 4 is to 8 or simply 1 is to 2. We can use the greatest common factor or GCF in simplifying the given ratios or fractions. Study the given table below. Ratios, terms, GCF, divide the terms by their GCF, and values of the ratio and lowest terms. Example, 3 is to 6. Ang term niya ay 3 and 6. Greatest common factor is 3. Then, 3 divided by 3, that is the GCF, and 6 divided by 3. And the value is 1 is to 2. For 9 is to 27, terms are 9 and 27. The GCF is 9. Then, 9 divided by 9 and 27 divided by 9. The values of the ratio in lowest terms is 1 is to 3 or 1 to 3. For 72 is to 8, the terms are 72 and 8. The GCF is 8. Then 72 divided by 8 and 8 divided by 8. Then the lowest term is 9 to 1. For 15 to 9, the terms are 15 and 9. The GCF is 3. Then 15 divided by 3 and 9 divided by 3. So, the lowest term is 5 to 3. Para sa learning task 1, express its ratio of the first quantity to the second quantity and reduce to its simplest form. Write your answers in your notebook. At yung sagutan ng number 1, 2 teachers to 46 pupils. That is, 2 to 46. Change natin sa simplest form. Divide natin sa GCF na 2. 2 divided by 2. And 46 divided by 2. And that is 1 is to 23. For number 2, 21 garbage cans to 46 classrooms. And that is 21 to 14. Ang GCF ng 21 and 14 is 7. I-divide natin ito sa 7 pareho, 21 divided by 7, and 14 divided by 7, and that is 3 is to 2. Kaya naman, ang simplest form ng 21 is to 14 is 3 is to 2, or 3 to 2. For learning task 2, 
Find the ratios of the time spent for the different activities. Write your answers in your notebook. Ayan ang AJ's daily activities and number of hours. Ating sagutan ang number 1, sleeping to a whole day. Sleeping, that is 8 hours. And, and whole day, meron tayong 24 hours in a day. So, that is 8 is to 24. Ang GCF ng 8 and 24 is 8. Kaya 8 divided by 8 equals 1. And 24 divided by 8 equals 3. So, ang lowest term by 1 is to 3. For studying to the time for creation, studying, that is 3 hours, to recreation, 2 hours. And that is 3 is to 2. 3 is to 2 ay naka lowest term na, kaya yan na ang ating final answer. 3 is to 2. When we express ratios in words, we use the word to. One of the most common ways to write ratio is through fraction. For learning task 3, write the following ratios to lowest terms. Write your answers in your notebook. For number 1, 20 wins to 35 games. That is 20 is to 35. Para makuha ang lowest term ng 20 is to 35, i-divide natin to sa GCF nilang 5. So 20 divided by 5 and 35 divided by 5 and that is 4 is to 7. So the lowest term of 20 is to 35 is 4 is to 7. For number 2, 20 red balls, to 96 blue balls and that is 12 is to 96 para makuha ang lowest term i-divide natin ito sa GCF na 12 so 12 divided by 12 and 96 divided by 12 and that is 1 is to 8 so the lowest term of 12 is to 96 is 1 is to 8 Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood at sa pagsama sa akin. Huwag kalimutang share ang ating video hanggang sa susunod na lesson to natin. Paalam!